Do you know someone who's tied up, bound down, stuck in a position where they feel they simply cannot move? Someone who's tied up in procrastination. Someone who's tied up in excuse making. Someone who's tied up in trying to be like everyone else. Someone who's tied up in worrying about everyone else. Someone who's tied up in financial debt. Someone who's tied up in bitterness. Tied up in anger. Do you know someone? You know what's even worse? Is to be someone who's tied up and not even know it. And that's what I'm here to talk to you all today about is how to avoid the knots that can tie up your college life. Because if you don't avoid these knots, you can be in college and out of college before you know. And you can come and you can leave with having had a plan, but not fulfilling that plan. And that plan that I think for all of you is to get your education and to earn it. Why did you decide to come to college? To make money, okay. Get a job, play sports. Further your education. Better education. To be a who? LPN. Registered nurse. She said technician. Okay, why did anyone over here come to college? GI Bill. Yes. You want a degree, okay. Yes. To make your family proud. Yes, sir. To meet people. Poor time management. While in college, it's, it's important that you manage your time effectively or it's going to get away from Another way relationships become toxic while in college, if you have somebody who knows you're supposed to be doing a report or you're supposed to be a part of a study group, but they, in, they entice you, hey girl, forget about that, come on over here, this party is good, you know, you know, you know how to do that dance and we all like the way you dance and all that. I mean, that's the type of stuff that's going to get you tied up in your college experience. You know, if, if you're a guy and you're hanging out with the boys and things like that and you know that you're struggling in a class and you need to get a tutor and things like that but you ignore it, I mean, you can't be upset because at the end of the grading period you, you're looking at a failing grade. Especially to the ladies. A friend of mine, Tamika Johnson, wrote a book. She said, love doesn't leave bruises. A lot of young women come to college, they meet, another, they meet a nice young man and all of a sudden you know, they live in this silent world of being abused, being hit on, being called names and things like that. It's hard to sit up in class when you feel like crap because somebody else is feeding that energy into you. That's a toxic relationship. And you have organizations on campus, you have professionals on campus that can help you out in that situation. And hopefully if you have a girlfriend or best friend or somebody else you know, outside of that to help you, I mean, you would listen to that person because it's not good. It's not good. I've been to college campuses when the day before I spoke, they found a young lady's body because of some obsessive boyfriend. When I say found her body, she was dead. Toxic relationships, they're not good. You got some psychotic, obsessed person going after you, let somebody know to use resources. You have more resources here on this campus than you know. I don't know how many schools I go to where students come and they go, they graduate, they've never been to the Career Center, they've never been to the Student Development Center. You say the library and the person says, where's that? And they graduate in a week. They've never been there. You have resources, you have clubs, you have different things that you can get involved in. Get involved now because it can really help you out as far as developing yourself, socializing, and, and learning things that can help you when you go get a job and you're looking for a job because you have those experiences, because you were a part of that club or that organization or that committee, you now have leadership skills, leadership experiences because this is what employers are looking for. I went to one university down south and the dean of students said, Ty, I know you're not going to believe this, but we do have a student with a .5 GPA. 
said, how do you do that? He said, not showing up. But he said, but yet, he said, I know who this student is. Why? Because they're at every party. They're at every football game, every basketball game. He's always in the lounge. And, and he's like, I'm surprised that the parents are still even paying for him to come. Not showing up. You cannot pass a class, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't, not to life may test you. Leaving your will feeling battered and tried. Don't stop, never quit, never give up. You've only been delayed, but you're rarely denied. It's been a treat and a pleasure, an experience beyond measure. I wish you all continuous success in your college experience and journey here at Allegheny College of Maryland. Thank you all for your time.